With more than 5.5 million species worldwide, and at least 12,500 species just in Florida, insects are everywhere. They crawl, decompose, buzz, pollinate, and more, but what sets them apart from other animals? In other words, what makes an insect an insect? The first main distinction is that insects have three body segments, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. On the heads of many insects are two long feelers called antennae that these critters use to sense their surroundings. Coming off the thorax or middle part of insects are six legs, three on each side. Counting their legs is a great way to tell insects apart from other creatures, like spiders, which have eight legs, or even centipedes, which can have hundreds of legs. Insects also have something called an exoskeleton, or a hard covering on the outside of their body that provides protection and support. Baby insects can look different from adult insects because some types go through a process called metamorphosis. One example of this is how a caterpillar builds a chrysalis and emerges as an adult butterfly. On the other hand, some insects don't go through these changes and hatch already in their adult form. Scientists use special names to identify insects. All insects belong to the kingdom Animalia, the phylum Arthropoda, the subphylum Hexapoda, and the class Insecta. Let's practice identifying some insects. This is an aphid, a creature that can often be found in agricultural fields. It has a head, thorax, and abdomen. It also has antennae, six legs, and an exoskeleton. That means aphid is an insect. How about a golden orb weaver, sometimes called a banana spider? Oops, it doesn't have three body parts, it only has two. What about legs? Nope, there are eight, not six. Looks like this spider, which can be found throughout Florida, is not an insect. This is a deer tick, which can hitch a ride on you or your pets while you're hiking in the forest. It doesn't have three body parts either, and has more than six legs. That means a tick is not an insect. What about the eastern bumblebee? It has a head, thorax, and abdomen. It also has antennae, six legs, and an exoskeleton. That means the bumblebee is an insect. While many insects can seem like pests, they provide a wide range of services to humans and other plants and animals in the environment. Insects pollinate crops that we rely on for food, break down dead material, and return nutrients to the soil, control pests, and provide nutrition for wildlife. But both the number and diversity of insects are declining around the globe due to habitat loss, pollution, and climate change. Without widespread action, many of these important creatures face extinction within the next few decades. To learn more about insect decline in the future of our planet, check out the Insect Effect resources at the link in the description.